hiking creator fans. For today's first invention, we'll need the top of a 2 liter water or coke bottle. With the help of the box cutter, cut it until it separates. Place glue on the entire exterior of this conical piece. I used to play with this kind of glue when I was a kid making spider webs on my fingers. Did you ever do that? Cut a piece of aluminum foil which you'll wrap around the plastic cone. Don't worry about it getting a little wrinkled. With a box cutter, remove the foil from the screw cap and any that's protruding from the edge. We'll take advantage of the magnificent property of aluminum to reflect light and dazzle any poor mortal. Clearly, we'll need to make use of our electrician skills to turn it on. Wrap the bare copper wire around the bulb's metal base and cover it with a good piece of insulating tape. It should be wrapped like a tamale. Get another copper wire like the one we used earlier and a small piece of aluminum foil. Fold the aluminum foil in half and that half into another half to wrap one end of the copper wire. Attach this last wire to the first one and add some more of the wonderful insulating tape. Now we have a fully functional small spotlight that will light up as soon as it touches any power source. With the soldering iron, create a hole in the center of the cap large enough to allow the bulb to pass through, which we'll insert through the top. Apply some super glue so that they will never separate again. Eat a popsicle and multiply the popsicle stick into six, Houdini style, and then mark a circle at the end of each of them with a pencil. Prepare your powerful drill to make a hole in each one of the popsicle sticks on the mark we made. Whenever I use one of these, I'm always afraid of piercing a finger. With pliers, cut the end of one of the popsicle sticks, then apply super glue to attach one on top of the other. Suddenly, a pair of toothpicks appears. Take one with the tweezers and put it through the hole in the glued popsicle sticks. Insert another pair of popsicle sticks on each end of the toothpick and after hot gluing them, proceed to cut the excess with pliers. Reapply glue and glue two popsicle sticks with holes one on top of the other. Insert another toothpick to hold the new part of the arm for our Pixar lamp. Secure the joint with instant glue and cut off the excess. How does it look? No mechanical arm beats this beauty. Put glue on the end of the wooden arm and attach it to the reflector head. We still have to put together the base to keep it standing and the electrical circuit, but let's take it one step at a time. Start marking the pieces we'll need on a piece of cardboard and cut them out with the help of a box cutter. Not long ago, I had to build a model for a school project and I used a lot of carton from a box I found in the trash. I made a desk, a chair, a bookshelf. It was quite nice. Once I passed the class, I put it in its place, back in the trash. Now it's time for the channel's favorite electrical circuit. In addition to the battery, we'll need a pair of wires with snap. Connect the snap to the 9-volt battery, and you know the rest, don't you? Tuck the ends of the twisted wires into the holes at the top of the base and close it. Apply glue to the last popsicle stick, join it to the arm, then glue everything to the base. We are done! Don't thank me for illuminating even your darkest nights. It's also the perfect companion to keep you up at night during final exams. I know, it's hard. We're all with you. And don't forget to subscribe. The base of the following invention is composed of the cap and screw of a water bottle like this one. But first we'll have to sand to remove all imperfections. Unscrew the cap and with a permanent marker, make three points like the ones you see on the screen. These will help us to know where to insert the nails, which will heat to very high temperatures. You should be able to cut through the lid like butter. Hmm, speaking of butter, I'm craving popcorn. Take three new nails and insert them thoroughly through the holes we just made. A little bit of glue will do them good so they don't think of slipping out of place. For the love of Allah, do not leave this death trap on the ground. Close the open part with another lid of the same brand and remove a couple of nuts from your bike. Put glue on one of their six sides and stick them to the side of the base of our aluminum rocket launcher. Perfect to add to our self-defense arsenal. 
But no rocket would work without fuel, not even an aluminum one. So let's prepare some with the magical matchstick powders. Start removing the heads from a trio of matches and crush them with a spoon like you crush pills you can't take. Steal the aluminum foil for a moment from your mom and cut a large piece that you will fold in half. And with a pair of scissors, cut the irregular side that always remains when you tear it. Another nail will help us to give shape to the rockets. Wrap a nail in the aluminum that we just unfolded and cut the leftover. Compress it well and close one of the ends with some tweezers. The first rocket is ready. Fill it with the magic powder and compress it well with the same nail. Simply replicate all the steps two more times and we'll have what we need to get them flying. Did I mention that it also has a special compartment to store the rockets? I know! I'm a genius. Who wants to try it? First, we'll load this dangerous defense system with our aluminum rockets that we stashed a few seconds ago. Place each one of them onto the three tips of the three nails and move them all the way to the bottom. This reminds me of when I used to launch mini flares with a rubber band when I was a kid. You only have to heat the part where the phosphorus dust is and it will be propelled towards your enemies. Look at the power! No one will ever again contradict me, or they will be showered with rockets full power. The last invention is my favorite of this video, as it completely reminds me of my childhood. To begin, take a match with some tweezers, and an empty bottle of water from which we'll remove the cap and leave it for later. In the meantime, place it upside down and get a piece of paper. Take several matches. In total, we'll need six to create the contents of a single piece of this invention. With a pair of tweezers, begin to cut the magic powder on the paper tablecloth. I will reveal right now that the last invention is the little paper balls containing stones and balls. I never knew what they were, but when they were thrown to the ground, they thundered, making a loud sound. In my city, they are actually called little onions because of their obvious resemblance to this vegetable. Grind the large pieces with the help of a spoon until a very fine powder is obtained. Take the sheet with all the powder and fold it slightly to concentrate it all in a single channel. Buy yourself a roll of aluminum foil so that you don't have to keep taking it away from your mom. From this, you can obtain several smaller ones that make many little onions that will scare your sister. I hope you didn't throw away the wood left over from making the magic dust because it will be useful to us. Cut up several of them with pliers until you have about 8 to 10 pieces. These will be reduced to powder in the next step. Wrap them inside the aluminum foil making this shape that I will describe as a chocolate kiss. And with some pointed object, create a hole in the lower part through which the infernal flame of the lighter will enter and burn the wood to ashes. Burn! Sorry, sometimes I get a little intense. Take out the black pieces of wood and drop them onto our tablecloth. With a spoon, convert the charred pieces into fine powder. Take the sheet and just like with the magic powder, pour it into the cap of the water bottle. Once together, activate your hands blender mode to mix them well and put the lid aside. Take an empty lighter and remove the metal coating that protects the parts we'll need. Take out the small gear and with a multiplication spell, turn them into two. These parts will be needed later. Take the cover of a matchbox and remove the scraper part with a pair of scissors. Make three cuts like the ones you see on the screen to make it easier to cut more mini squares from the scraper. Place them into our powerful mixture and cut a square of plain paper. Squish this just like your grandma does every time you visit her. It will be used to contain the mixture. Empty it completely and proceed to close the paper, turning it into the precious thundering onion. They are identical to the ones my mom used to buy me. Wait, I forgot to add the two gears. Now, close it again with all the ingredients inside and repeat the whole thing a couple of times so the fun doesn't end so quickly. All you have to do is slam them hard on the floor and the noise will wake up even your dad who sleeps like a log. Although, if you don't like the adrenaline rush of being chased by your enraged father, you'd better go outside to pop them. Listen to the beautiful sound of a job well done. Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Until next time.